Spiritual practices are those practices that we do in an intentional, disciplined, consistent way that allows us to experience God more fully. Two of the practices that we recommend are scripture reading and prayer. You don't have to be a pastor or a priest to know how to pray. Turn to Matthew 6 and listen to how Jesus teaches his disciples to engage in a prayer that deeply connects them with God and with what their lives are about here on earth. And scripture reading, it just changes everything. In these ancient words, we find ways of hearing God speak to us in our time. What happens when people memorize a scripture verse and find themselves counting on it in times of trouble or worry? I know for myself, when I'm feeling anxious about something, that the passage from Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7, don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. It just changes how I approach the situation that I'm in. For me, engaging in scripture reading and prayer have just become as natural as breathing, and they make my day. It is the part of the practices that I do when I get up in the morning, and without them, I don't feel as grounded about what comes up throughout the day. There's an intention about doing spiritual practices. For me, it's grown over time where they've been able to be as consistent as they are now. At times in my life, they were hit or miss, but I always found that when I felt that I was disconnected from God, that if I took the time to read some scripture and I took the time for prayer, that I would always find my connection, my way back. God was always there waiting for me. I just had to find the way to God. These are what spiritual practices can do for you and for the people in a congregation who gather together and discover the joy, excitement, and profound depth that there is in scripture and in prayer with the one who invites us to pray and to listen and then to act.